What is up, my man? Welcome back to more Real Talk Things. We are basically give you guys a Puck Madden commentary because Sunday is so close to Monday. We oh, gotta want that Monday. Yeah, it's a derp or derp. And school and work some Mondays and etc. And I was basically thinking of something along the lines of this. See, I'm normally YouTube hop. And when I YouTube hop, that basically means I just check out other channels who are similar or who make gaming videos, right? Just to see their, opi your, their opinions and what they think is right in the gaming community. The only problem I have with this said thing is the fact that I am not bragging and saying I am the crusader of video game videos. Lord knows, I am not. I am not saying I am. I just know a lot about gaming and how to edit. I've been doing it for like four, like four years now. Like over two channels in the past. And this would be my third channel technically, which is highly successful to me in my honest opinion. But when I stumble across these new channels, I always see this one thing. Either A, they did not take the time to fucking edit the video right. Or B, they just let like... Well, technically, the ed idiot work, I mean, editing come out. That's basically what I see constantly. For example, when I come across a channel, basically, like, um, this channel's looking at this guy talking about the gaming community and etc. right? So I, I hated him. I listened to his opinions, but there's just one problem I kept having reoccurring over and over again. For him to be talking about the video community and the gaming community, how it feels and all that, etc. Why the hell does this guy not take the time to actually turn down the video game volume? Especially when you're playing a game that's all about killing and, and loud noises and etc. I just looked at that and I was like, you know, I can't make out a word you're saying because all you're killing, you, the killing is too, that's the comments that the killing is too loud. And I just bust out laughing. I mean, that's kind of basically what's to the point to what the video was. But still, like, how are you going to just not just let that slide? Like, wouldn't that bother you? The same with all the editing pro programs and stuff we have out there. You can just cut the volume of the video down and make your audio louder. Or better yet, just amplify your audio with Audacity or something. Any voice recording software could basically do that. But I looked at that and I was like, see, this is stuff I'm talking about here. And some channels wonder why they don't have a following. Well, it's because of little stuff like that. Little things like that can get you far. And I'm not here to basically give you advice or anything like that. But I'm just saying, like... For channels who always complain about them failing and etc maybe you should look at that one guy was talking about how he's on youtube because he thinks that there's some there's some there's some sort of way of of, of getting popular and stuff like that but when the kid was basically chewing gum while trying to commentate and you still wondering why he ain't got a following come on man like that shit aggravates people and it's hard to actually make a video it's gonna catch attention Gaming wise, especially if you're not gonna be that guy that's gonna sit back and play Call of Duty the whole day Which the majority of same 5% channels do and if that didn't work They just basically go out there and garner some hate just to bring some traffic to their channel Which I highly suggest against that but that's another way of actually gaining popularity it's just by bringing hate to your channel It's whatever you want to do, but I'm, I'm looking back at this stuff and I'm just saying to myself These are little things that could help you go a mile away some people, like this one guy told me, he actually asked for me advice, my advice on one point. He actually said, um, how do I grow my gaming channel? He takes it to the point now that, you know, he's just about to give up. What's the point of you going out there buying, like, HD capture cards and shit if you're just going to give up? It, the earth was not built in set, in, a, in a day, I believe. I believe the world was not built in seven, in a day. I don't know the exact saying about that, but the world was not built in seven, in a day. Everything takes freaking time. Why do people honestly think just because they're recording something that comes out just now that they're gonna fucking like just explode? Like, nah, man, that stuff takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Sure, in about five months, I've garnered about a hundred subscribers every month. That's amazing to me personally, but that still does not mean that like I blew up instantly. I don't even think I blew up instantly, in all honesty. I think I'm pretty much a decent channel. 500 subscribers at this moment of this video. It's not really that much, but considering to a person who just not got to YouTube, that probably would be like a huge milestone. Especially statistics that actually show that just because you have 500 subscribers, that doesn't mean that 500 people are going to watch your videos. But people, I see people making those videos last time about, um, all my subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, you're not watching all my videos. Well, statistically speaking, you don't really start to develop a decent audience until around like 2,000. And that's like saying 500 videos, uh, views per video. And etc. But when I look at all these new channels being formed and stuff, I see they have potential. They just don't know how to use it. Or they just don't care. Like, attempts, attempts to be funny can easily be shown within the video. People subscribe for, like, le no legit reason. That's perfectly understandable. I mean, I get those subscribers, too. But the majority of people who are actually there for you will not be there for you. They'll just be there for maybe, like, whatever particular thing you're uploading. 
Like I said, I'm not a saving grace, and I am not the Messiah of YouTube. So don't come at me thinking, you're acting like you're just so bad, bad, and tough, black camper, like you're just a shit. Nah, I never said that. I'm just saying the weaknesses of some people, because like I said, I know I'm not perfect. If you don't like my videos, see, I'm not like those other guys. If you don't like my videos, then fuck off. I don't care. I mean, it's not, my videos don't apply to everybody. I'm all about funny humor. I'm not about being taken seriously. It, if what I'm doing makes you happy, then I done my job. And if you're not happy, then fucking unsubscribe or just leave. You know, that's how you really feel. Well, other people are just like, you guys, you're not subscribing or watching my content and stuff like that. That hurts my feelings. That's what people probably want their reaction out of you. I don't give two shits. I'm going to be happy. I'm blessed. I'm doing something that I enjoy doing. Putting my opinions on gaming. And all I've ever wanted to do in my whole YouTube career is get people to actually watch my videos. Now, since I've got that, I'm pretty much happy. I, I grow at least five subscribers on a daily basis for what I'm seeing for me averaging out. I make content, people watch it, I'm blessed. And hopefully most people will probably get to that point where they're also too, but you gotta keep on doing this. You just can't expect things to happen in one freaking day. And well that is it, my bananas. Dream for more Real Talk Sunday next Saturday. Later guys, God bless peace and thanks for watching. And a little advice before I go, channels don't fucking give up. Just keep going. The community wants you to give up. Don't give the community what it wants. Keep striving, layer the banana nation.